The latest tragic accident that killed over 25 people in Cairo has triggered the development process into action. This week, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi announced a plan to overhaul the railway system in the country. We have contracted the development of 290 railway carriages and will buy 1,300 new carriages and 200 railway tractors. We will upgrade H1 tractors and will purchase six full air-conditioned luxury trains. All this will be delivered in the next year and a half. This will go hand in hand with the upgrade of all other segments of this sector. It will be delivered with the highest quality. The president chose a powerful military man, General Kamil al Wazir, to oversee the revamp of the rundown railway sector. He is up to the responsibility. The railway sector needs extensive work on improving the trains, machinery, carriages, and even the drivers themselves. They must be closely monitored to avoid any mistakes again. Being from the military, he is very strict, well organized, and serious at work. He visited all locations on the first day to show he will not waste time. Railway accidents have been a common theme of the last few decades. Experts say the challenges are huge for the incoming minister, Kamil al wazir Three ministers of transportation in the last five years have all lost their jobs because of tragic railway accidents. Kamel El Wazir has a long and successful history in managing construction and infrastructure projects. The basic problem with the railway sector is with management and bureaucracy. He must develop the administrative and management system to adopt the principle of punishment and reward, and also to fight corruption. I believe the private sector should also be given licenses to operate railways, as this will create competition and in turn will improve quality. The president has also set a target to link the railway system with Sudan and all the way to Ethiopia. A delegation has traveled to Sudan to study the first phase of the project. The railway line will begin from the High Dam, which will be the last stop for Egyptian trains. From there, it will go along the Nasser Lake and Helfa Valley to reach a railway station inside Sudan called Abu Hamad. The distance is about 600 kilometers. The Egyptian president announced a two-year deadline for the upgraded railway system to be ready, and he set a budget of $15 billion for the project. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.